This report here provides advice to the government on how to legislate for greenhouse gas emission targets and establish a climate commission to advise on how we actually meet them. The idea goes back to a similar system that was legislated for in the United Kingdom about 10 years ago. My predecessor, Dr. Jan Wright, recommended this uh, last year, and now we have a government that's planning to do it. In a nutshell, the plan works as follows. The Climate Commission recommends a succession of carbon budgets, each one smaller than the last, to get our greenhouse gases tracking downwards. Now, it's an advisory body, this commission. It's for the people's elected representatives to adopt these budgets, and it's for the government of the day to propose the policies that will be needed to achieve them. It's all about getting the focus on the long term and creating a process to keep that focus on the long term. And that's a major challenge. It won't happen overnight. Emissions can't be suddenly reduced. Currently, they're still rising. Just getting them to stop and then start to decline will be a challenge in the short term. But where the real ambition is needed is in the long term, and it's planning for the long term that we now have to turn to. Eliminating our reliance on fossil fuels amounts to a major change in the structure of our economy. And that will require significant investments in the long term. Now, long term investments need a stable, predictable framework. We will not make the changes we need to make if we are constantly arguing over the short term. So goals like eliminating fossil fuel from electricity generation and going after zero emissions road transport won't happen without the confidence to invest in them. And the same goes for changes uh, in agriculture to lower our biological emissions. I'm proposing that the Climate Commission should recommend six-year budgets with a review at the halfway point. That would mean that each new parliament would address the issue once in its term. The Commission will need to recommend the first couple of budgets quite quickly to take us through to 2030. And they're going to need to reverse the upward trend of the last 20 years. But my hunch is that the third budget, for the period beyond 2030, will be the first opportunity to make really ambitious reductions. And designing the policies to make that possible need to start now. Long-term investors in things like long-lived infrastructure need to know what level of emissions will be permitted. No one is going to start taking the decision to invest in the long term if we are permanently arguing over the short term. Now, setting up a system for the long term requires really broad support at the outset. And I'd like to read you something my predecessor, Dr. Jan Wright, said about this. She said, I wouldn't want such a law to scrape through in Parliament. Support across political parties is vital. Climate change is the ultimate intergenerational issue, and governments change. So what can we do to try to underwrite a very broad parliamentary support base, which will last over time? Well, a couple of my recommendations address this point. In the first place, it's very important that the Commission has very widespread confidence and support. So I've recommended that the government consult with all parties in the appointment of members to that commission. It's pretty important that the commission itself has confidence in what it's doing as well. And so for that reason, I'm suggesting that the commission should actually advise on the targets that end up being legislated for. Now, in one sense, our target has been made easier by the Paris Agreement in 2015. All the countries agreed there that we had to get down to net zero emissions in the second half of the century. That's what the science tells us. 
So there shouldn't be too much debate about that. But targets need to be clear. They can't be open to interpretation or debate. If you're going to set a carbon budget, then it has to be quite clearly defined. And the Climate Commission needs to know, if it's proposing budgets, that they will lead to an outcome that it has confidence in. So what I've proposed is that the Climate Commission should be asked within a limited period of time to think about that question and come back to Parliament and propose a target or targets which can then be legislated for. I think that taking that approach could do a lot to gain broad support for that all-important issue of the targets. But to recap, at the end of the day, it is Parliament that must decide on the targets, and it will be the governments we elect who will have to put the policies in place to get us there. That's not something my report covers. That is for your elected representatives.